Hey HCG family, uh, it's me, Miss HCG girl, and I'm checking in for VLCD number three on round seven. Um, today I got up and my weight was 146.2. I had dropped 2.4 pounds. Um, this round so far is not the best so far that I've done in all the rounds, uh, but it is what it is. <laughs> And um, I attribute that to maybe being closer to releasing all of my abnormal fat and all the inflammation and allergy problems I have. Uh, I'm taking you for a little drive with me right now. I am heading to Earth Fair. And Ashley's in the back. She has fall break. So uh, we're hanging out together. I am going there because I am out of my big bottle of Bragg's Aminos and I use that every day on P2. Um, I had some interesting questions yesterday asked me um, about um, how I know uh, the difference between 2,000 IUs and 5,000 IUs from looking at the bottle. And for those of you who don't do RX, I'm gonna give you a little tip here. All the 2,000 or the 5,000 means is how long the HCG is going to last, how much HCG it can make and last. And basically a 2,000 IU bottle can make about four, 14 days if you do 125 IUs a day. And then if you have a 5,000 IU bottle, it should take you for probably 21 days uh, if it doesn't go bad. And so... Um, Anyway, that's the answer to that question. So basically, it's just the size of the pill at the bottom of the bottle, okay? And then uh, somebody else asked me if I could show my favorite kitchen gadgets uh, in my kitchen for P2, and I don't mind doing that. I'll try to do that in one of my vlogs. And um, I think I had mentioned yesterday morning that I did a little bit of Faye yogurt and a little bit of Smucker's strawberry spread. This is totally off protocol, but in order to take my ibuprofen, I didn't want to take it on an empty stomach. I did like a fourth of a cup of 0%. When you're on P2, you want to stick to 0% fat on Faye yogurt uh, and make sure you get the Greek yogurt. That's just, it's very dense. So I put a fourth of a cup of that and a tablespoon of strawberry smuckers that has Splenda in it and a little bit of stevia and a little bit of French vanilla da Vinci and I ate that when I took my pills yesterday. I also did a detox bath yesterday and I did one today. Um, I was having some pro I'm having problems in my left knee area on the inside of my kneecap area and it just seems to be a lot of pain and uh, I'm just trying to eliminate the pain and after I took that detox bath yesterday it helped a lot and then this morning I woke up it was the throbbing was there again so I decided to do it again and it seems to help me anyway. Um, other than that, let me see what else I did. I had a salad last night. Uh, Y'all saw my, my soup that I made for lunch yesterday. And um, I ate it just like two chicken tenderloins, uh, heated up in the microwave. Uh, I had already cooked, I pre-cook all my chicken tenderloins on the George Foreman. I spray with a little Bragg's Aminos, put onion and garlic powder. And that's all I do. And um, I, I spray the George Foreman first before I do that. And then I make them all up ahead of time and I put them in a Ziploc bag and then I take two out at a time and sometimes they come a little more than three and a half ounces and sometimes they're just about three ounces and so I have that with some salad and uh, lettuce and um, it's romaine lettuce I, I, salad is lettuce <laughs> and uh, cucumbers and celery and then I make up a dressing. I do not put this in um, my fitness pal, but I need to do this. And, and I'll try to vlog this, but it's made with MCT oil and that strawberry spread. And I'm going to tell you what, I really like it a lot. Um, and the vinegar on uh, P2. It's very tasty and it makes the salad just go down really good. 
other than that um, I've been watching a lot of vlogs and you know I'm just so in inspired and encouraged when people share what's really happening on their journeys whether it's whether it's good whether it's bad it is what it is and um, I'm always learning something new every day um, I was watching uh, Debbie dare to be there hi Debbie and uh, Debbie is our resident boot camp girl besides uh, Kate Kim Cork Karika does it as well y'all are so brave okay <laughs> I'm just here to tell you this woman uh, I was in the military at one time and I can promise you this I am nowhere near in shape to what you guys are and it's just so inspiring and encouraging that you're doing this and you're building muscle and you're getting yourself early out of bed and hitting the hitting the road and stuff it's just it's really phenomenal and um, I saw Kathy show uh, not enough hours show uh, her kill her finds uh, that she found on um, um, at the grocery store and she's gonna make some chocolate delight in the little molds and I wrote underneath and this is for newbie tip right here go to Dollar Tree they sell ice trays that are made they're silicone ice trays and you can use them to make your chocolate delight they are they work perfect okay I have them from all different times of the year and I got that tip from Ms. Rachel B and if you're still watching me girl I love you um, anyway, she was very active in our group a little over a year ago, and she got married, and she's really busy now, but we okay, still love I'm back. her. <laughs> I don't know what happened there, but I wanted to show you guys some of the trees. That's why I'm, like, letting some of the sites show that there's a lot of trees that are turning right now, and it's just beautiful, even though it's a very overcast hey guys, day uh, today. I'm back, and I just went to Earth Fair. And I found one of my uh, favorite teas. Let me see if I can get it and show you. Um, no, I did buy some Smooth Move, but it's not that one. Um, let me see here. Oh, this tea is the bomb, okay? It's Vanilla Nut Cream Stash brand. And oh my God, if you like vanilla, you will love that tea. Ashley. Can you be quiet while I make a video? <laughs> anyway, uh, my camera kept dying because I have so much stuff on my camera. I had to delete some stuff just to make this video. Um, I was hoping to show some colors on here, some fall colors. There's some beautiful, beautiful trees turning. Like here's one right here. I don't know if it'll catch in this when we pass by it. But beautiful orange and yellows and... Um, anyway, I went to Earth Fair and I wanted to pick up, um, not the Smooth Move because I'd already bought that somewhere else, but I had, I needed a big bottle of Bragg's and they sell it. It's not the cheapest I've seen, um, but here it is. It's in a plastic bottle and it's 32 ounces and I think I paid $7.49 for it. So, uh, anyway. I buy this and I refill the little one and I put that in everything I, I put it on my meats I put it uh, in my soups um, everything it's just delicious my husband even sprays it on his pork chops uh, Bragg's aminos is amazing and I was talking about a few people before when I got cut off and um, Kathy not enough hours was showing her kill and I call it a kill my husband has always called it a kill uh, he says like hunters go out hunting and they kill a deer and they mount it on the front of their truck, right? He says when we get a good bargain somewhere, we need to mount it on the front of our car. <laughs> anyway, it's just his funny little thing he shares. Um, anyway, I'm doing good on VLCD3. Uh, I've not been hungry. Like I said, I had a little bit of yogurt again this morning and uh, I had the big salad for lunch and I'm doing great I'll probably make either my soup or my chili this evening and I'm taking Ashley to Disney on ice it's like world of fantasy or something like that with a friend and uh, I won't be tempted because uh, I, I'm just not I'm gonna bring my water and drink the whole time anyway I hope you guys are having a great day it's Thursday here and very overcast uh, peace
our deuces and I love you toy I thought that video was awesome of you praying love you be blessed Ow. I almost forgot my body fat this morning was 35.5% and that's what it was yesterday and I lost another 2.4 pounds and that's on the health meter. I'm just reporting in what it says, not that I believe it or anything, I just wanted to be uh, accurate here. One other thing I got at Earth Fair that I wanted to share a tip with newbies is uh, a lot of times I react to wheat and so that's why I'm not doing the Melba's I, and not just that reason a lot of times I just cut it out but last two rounds when I got a little hungry I just grabbed me a couple of gluten free pretzels. Uh, like two of them and I just ate those and it just let the hunger go away and um, there's um, other people anyway, on the I got disrupted I got interrupted by a phone call from another HCGer who is coming by tomorrow and you know we're going to be vlogging anyway I'm gonna keep that a surprise and you'll have to watch my tomorrow's video to find out who it is and um, anyway I got that uh, tip. There were other HCGers that did gluten-free pretzels. So anyway, I wanted to throw that out there as an option for people who don't want to do Melba's. And you can find the gluten-free pretzels at almost any place out there. Okay, guys, I love you. Y'all have a great day. Uh, peace out.